Self driving cars may sound like a thing of the future, but that future is arriving right here in Jacksonville. Today, transportation leaders from across the country gathered at the Prime Osborne Convention Center in downtown for the National Autonomous Vehicle Day Conference. Our Haja Ba was there and has more on what's next for the city. And Haja, I know this has a lot of people excited. That's right, Anthony. So it's a big day for transportation here in the city of Jacksonville. More than 400 people showed up today to discuss the future of autonomous vehicles. And soon the future of transportation will soon arrive here in Jacksonville. From industry leaders to student researchers, the National Autonomous Vehicle Day Conference brought big ideas and even bigger ambition to downtown Jacksonville. The CEO of Jacksonville Transportation Authority shared the big news. In just one week from today, we will celebrate the launch of the nation's first, not pilot, but permanent public transportation service powered by autonomous vehicles. JTA says the Bay Street Innovation Corridor will soon feature electric self-driving shuttles that could change the way people get around from downtown Jacksonville. Two student researchers from the University of North Florida, Christian Gardenez and Christopher Hall, who study autonomous technology and transportation safety, believe AVs will make roads safer in the city. It's not like uh, it's AVs against human drivers. It's more like we're working alongside with AVs. So to see, like have more of a collaboration with any sort of machine learning or um, artificial intelligence to help uh, reduce the um, human behaviors that uh, cause these human crashes to go down. Having this in Jacksonville, they are the future now. They're the start of this like brand new, not brand new industry, but brand new stepping stone for the AV industry. Now, as I mentioned earlier, JTA will be begin the services of autonomous vehicles as early as next week in Bay Street, and as well as adding more routes in 2026. In downtown Jacksonville, Hajibah, First Coast News on your side.